Andy Katz here with a Big East March Madness preview, taking a look at teams that I think will be in the NCAA tournament to the bubble, which I've got four teams in. Marquette, Xavier, St. John's, and Butler. Now, Butler, a little bit of rebuilding, but I've got faith in Laval Jordan. Same thing with Mike Anderson at St. John's. Paul Scruggs is the name to remember at Xavier. And Marquette, no Marcus Howard, but they're going to obviously distribute the ball a little bit more on offense. So, teams that I think will be in the NCAA tournament and maybe win some games. Providence, Seton Hall, and UConn. Back to the Big East. The Huskies have James Booknight, Dan Hurley. He's got their team ready to go in the Big East. Seton Hall, no Miles Powell. Miles Kale is back, and they bring in a Harvard transfer, Bryce Aiken, Sandro Mamakalashvili. He could have stayed in the NBA draft, decided to come back. So they've got the one-two punch on the perimeter and inside in Providence. New point guard in Jared Bynum, but David Duke, A.J. Reeves, Nate Watson, Ed Cooley should have a team that could challenge near the top of the Big East. Two teams in the Big East have Final Four potential, Villanova and Creighton. Jeremiah Robinson Earl combines with Colin Gillespie and an outstanding recruiting class, and Jay Wright's Wildcats could compete for his third national championship. Creighton, no Tyshawn Alexander, but Marcus Zagorowski pairs up with Mitch Ballack, and the offensive efficiency of Creighton should be high again. In fact, Zagorowski could be the Big East Player of the Year and a first-team All-American. So Villanova and Creighton are two teams out of the Big East that certainly could compete for the national championship.